Well, hello there, my bow fishing brethren. It is uh, July 12th? It is July 12th. Uh, I took a long hiatus uh, from working on this uh, Muzzy LX to uh, tend to other things. Uh, but nonetheless, I procrastinated long enough, and I think I have finally came up with something that seems to be the uh, most productive, I guess, in this. Uh, right now the bow is uh, set at uh, 40 pounds, uh, 29 inches, and uh, is getting about 50% let off. What I'm going to do in a little bit here is I'm going to uh, take the cables off and the string off to give you some, some final measurements. Uh, you can see on here that uh, one of the things that I did is we took a a 3 8 fuel line and put it with a roller cable slide to keep the the, the slide away from the, uh, the 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 brace of the bow these roller cable guards are readily available and have a retail on them it's gonna be right around 15 bucks uh, if you order them online you get them down to like 12 or something like that uh, we also went ahead and replaced the limb bolts and the bushings uh, from the Muzzy. Uh, the original ones were just garbage. Uh, these are much better and we were able to straighten it out some. So the brace height right now is uh, about 7 and 3 8 inch. I'm going to fold it down, I can't. Is now uh, just under 44 inches. Um, so about a six and three eighths uh, brace with a, uh, a 44 inch uh, tip to tip length. I've been fairly decent about trying to maintain the uh, center line of the bow. You can still see it's just got a slight favor uh, tipping to the right. Uh, this is just by design. It uh, if you can counteract that to some point, but uh, it, it, it again, by design, unless you're gonna be shooting a shoot through, you're gonna have a lot of pressure on the right-hand side of this bow. Nope, I was wrong. 45 pounds, or 35 pounds. Well, that's actually much better than in speed wise because the speed is uh, 110 feet per second at 35 pounds. Uh, originally, when I first weighed the bow and I, there were some timing issues, I fixed the timing issues, but the draw weight was up at basically another four or five pounds. So after I fixed the timing issue, it dropped it uh, uh, four or five pounds and the, uh, the speed is uh, 110, so that's great. Um, and what I'll do now is uh, we're gonna see what we can find where the let off is. My scale is about three quarters of a pound light, so it's showing 17.6, so quite honestly, that's more like 18 and a half pounds. Uh, this is also set up right now on the, uh, what they call the short, uh, the, 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 the short setting. Um, with changing the length of the cables and the length of the string, uh, this is now 29 inches. Twenty nine inches. Again, just a little close up of this right here. This again creates a little bit more space for brace height so you don't whack your wrist as easily. Um, also helps quiet down the bow. I'm gonna also give it a quick shot here while you run it a little bit. Again, that's pretty good. 30 uh, 35, 36 pounds holding basically 18 and a half pounds and it's quiet. You know, just when I was wrapping this up, I noticed that uh, there was a slight buzz noise when I tapped on the bow. And then I realized the outboard uh, limb receiver uh, had these fasteners and three out of the four were loose. 
and uh, just snugged them right up, and it took that little buzz noise away. Guys, if you have some knowledge, please share it, and uh, I hope you guys have a damn good day, or at least try like hell. Uh, I would love to see everybody do well. Take care. Bye.